for the automaker teams that engineer, develop, and keep the Chevrolet Camaro in the Ford Mustang. The phone car war is a seemingly ending. He saw in conflagration conducted with an intensity bordering on religious fervor. The objectives are simple, outgun the opposition on the road and annihilate them on the sales front. When your side loses ground, which will inevitably happen, escalate the war with more power, better handling, additional features, and improved styling. Ever since the current generation Mustang debuted for 2015 it has been winning the sales battle but, more often than not, losing the war on the road and in our reviews to the sweet driving Camaro. So 2018 is a year of multiple improvements, a sort of mechanical troop surge, intended to make the current Mustang go faster, drive better, look sexier, and protect its occupants more comprehensively. We detailed the new Mustang's upgrades in a previous report, so we'll focus here on our initial impressions about how well those revisions work. We got a chance to briefly pilot base and GT Mustang coupes on the roads draped across the foothills north of Malibu some of California's more challenging stretches of tarmac. Our first stint was in a blazing orange fury metallic GT equipped with the six-speed manual and the optional performance package, which for V8 models adds tauter suspension, Brembo six-piston front brake calipers, more robust engine cooling, a Torsen limited slip differential, and Michelin Pilot Sport 4's performance tires 255-40R19 front, 275-40R19 rear on black painted aluminum wheels. Our car also had the optional active valve performance exhaust and new 4 2018 MagniRide adaptive magnetorheological dampers technologies that have been available on the 6th gen Camaro since it hit the market for the 2016 model year. If you can't beat M, match their mufflers and dampers. The GT standard Coyote 5.0 liter V8 barks a renewed